in total, you're going you're gonna to be carrying the equivalent of a giant panda or a baby elephant, is that right? So they tell me. It's what Google says. <laughs> It is going to be a hefty hike, no doubt about that, but David is more than prepared. How are you feeling about this? Uh, nervous, excited, but if I'm not ready now, I'll never be. You've done a lot of training for yeah, this? Uh, the last six months has been pretty intense, obviously just building up the weights and the, the uh, ascents up various hills and stuff as well, just working it up to that, to that 100 kilos. Tonight he'll carry an impressive 100 kilograms on his back as he climbs Ben Nevis, the UK's highest mountain. He thinks it'll take up to 12 hours to make it to the summit, arriving in time for morning and hopefully a stunning sunrise. Lovely, but tiring. How difficult is this going to be? It's going to be hard. It will be hard. And I wanted it to be hard. It's going to be painful. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be the toughest thing that I've ever had to do and probably will have to do physically. And it will be because the challenge has been inspired by the late Scottish rugby player Doddy Weir, raising money for the charity he set up after he was diagnosed with motor neuron disease. And I wanted to, at best, kind of represent that kind of pain, that burden that people go through and their families go through when they're diagnosed with such a disease. And that's why I wanted to carry all the weight on my shoulders, just to try and represent that as much as I could personally. Doing it for Doddy, yes, but if he's successful, he'll also set a new record for the weight he's carrying as he climbs. There are probably easier ways of breaking a world record, I would say. Uh, there, there is, but um, I don't do anything fast. So anything that involves any form of speed, I'm out. So I can slog away for hours on end. Um, and the good thing is there's no time limit. A heavy hike to Britain's highest peak rewarded with views and a sense of achievement. And when he makes it back down, he's booking a holiday. Understandable. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.